Hello everyone, here's a quick video on testing a new FSK transceiver from Hope RF. It's the RFM69. I've been playing with the pair for some time and I really like these modules, uh, mostly because of some really nice built-in features that they bring to the table, and also the high output power capability in uh, still a very small package. This is the RFM69W compared to the popular RFM12B, and this is a high-powered version of the RFM69 called RFM69HW, it includes some extra onboard circuitry for a power amplifier. Since the layout is a bit different than the RFM12B, uh, I made a new dedicated PCB for RFM69s. Uh, uh, this is uh, a new Motino version, actually. Uh, they're basically using the same signals as the RFM12B, the spy bus uh, for communications, an interrupt signal, antenna, and of course power. Right now I'm uh, having these two modules here that I'm testing. It's uh, just a basic transmitter receiver sketch that I'm running on them to test the library that I'm running for these. Uh, let me increase the frequency here a little bit. Anyway, here's a rundown of the highlights. 13 dBm output power, 45 milliamps in transmit mode, and 16 milliamps in receive mode. It has a preamble and sync word recognition, 128-bit AES encryption and CRC check. 66 byte FIFOs versus just 2 byte FIFOs in the popular RFM 12B. Very nice feature, digital signal strength or RSSI. Uh, small footprint, just 16 by 20 millimeter, which is uh, about 4 millimeter longer than the RFM 12B. It complies to FCC and Etsy regulations according to the data sheet, so that's very good. And the best part, I think, is that the price is uh, very comparable to that uh, of the RFM 12B, at least currently. Also, other good news is that the radio is uh, much higher transmit power than the RFM12B, which means the modules have significantly longer range when you need it, at the expense of more current consumption, of course. I've personally tested these to have a range of about 250 meters in open air using the default settings and a basic monopole quarter wavelength uh, wire antenna. A nice feature is the ability to adjust the output power in case you don't need that long of a range and want to save some power. So overall, I think the module is an excellent upgrade from the RFM12B. The high power version of this transceiver includes a power amplifier which can output up to 20 dBm in transmit mode. The power consumption in transmit mode is 130 milliamps for this high power version as opposed to 45 milliamps on the regular version. In receive mode, uh, it's only 16 milliamps for both since uh, they're both based on the same transceiver chip. I've been putting together a library for this new transceiver and so far I'm happy with uh, how they perform. Theoretically, the RFM69 should be compatible with the RFM12B since uh, they are both FSK transceivers and can be configured to approximately the same settings. Hope RF, in fact, does claim that they are compatible. So uh, it would be nice if someone would contribute in this area by tweaking the library that I will uh, release soon and see if they can have these modules talk to RFM12Bs or even other FSK modules, since a lot of people already invested in RFM12B-based solutions. So yeah, I'm very excited about the new opportunities that this new transceiver brings. Stay tuned for the library release and the new version of Motino that uses the RFM69s. Thank you for watching and check out my blog at lowpowerlab.com and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for video updates. See you later.